In 1971, the Super B adopted the Charger platform, giving it a sleek and aggressive look. It was one of the last models to feature the legendary 426 cubic inch Hemi engine. Dodge built 5,054 Charger Super Bs, but only 22 Super Bs were equipped with the Hemi engine in 1971, and nine of them had a four speed manual transmission, adding to the model's rarity and exclusivity. According to the Motor Trend magazine of December 1971, the Super B finished the quarter mile in 13.73 seconds at 104 miles per hour. It could sprint from 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds and has a top speed of 142 miles per hour. The 1973 Pontiac Trans Am SD455 is a rare and legendary muscle car that was born in a time of strict emission regulations and fuel shortages. The SD455 had a higher compression ratio, a more robust block and crankshaft, larger valves and ports, forged pistons and rods, and a more aggressive camshaft. The SD455 engine was rated at 310 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque by the factory, but some experts believe that it was underrated. A 73 Trans Am 455 SD showed off its speed in the June 1972 issue of Hot Rod magazine. It blazed through the quarter mile in just 13.54 seconds at 104.3 miles per hour. Only 252 units were ever made and most of them had automatic transmissions. Only 72 lucky souls enjoyed the thrill of manually shifting gears. The 1970 Pontiac GTO 455 HO was a rare and powerful muscle car resulting from General Motors lifting the engine size limit for its A-body platform. It featured a 455 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 360 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque, making it one of the fastest cars of its time. The 455 HO engine also had a higher compression ratio of 10.25 to 1 compared to the standard 455's 8.4 to 1. According to Muscle Car Review Testing, the 1970 GTO 455 needed just 13.53 seconds to complete the quarter mile. The 1971 Ford Mustang was the first major redesign of the Mustang since its debut in 1964. It was larger, sustained, and more comfortable than the previous models, but it also offered more room for bigger engines. The Mach 1 was the primary performance model of the Mustang, and it came with various engine options, ranging from a 302 to a 429 V8. However, for those who wanted even more power and speed, Ford offered the Super Cobra Jet version of the 429 V8, which came with a special drag pack option. The SCJ engine boosted the output to 375 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. With a four-speed top loader manual transmission, it could complete the quarter mile in a mere 13.4 seconds at 105 miles per hour. The Mach 1 429 SCJ was a rare and expensive car. Only about 531 units were produced in 1971. Buick offered three engine options for the GS in 1970, including a 350 with 315 horsepower, a 455 with 350 horsepower, and the infamous Stage 1 455 that was vastly underrated at 360 horsepower. With 510 pound-feet, it was one of the most torque-rich engines ever produced by an American manufacturer, and it gave the GS Stage 1 impressive acceleration and speed. The GS Stage 1 was a rare and special order car requiring some persistence and connections. Only 2,465 were built in 1970, and only 664 of them had a four-speed manual transmission. The GS Stage 1 was a formidable competitor on the street and the drag strip, where it could run the quarter mile in the 13.38 second range at over 105 miles per hour according to Motor Trend magazine in its January 1970 issue.
The 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner was a muscle car that was part of the first generation of the Roadrunner series, which lasted from 1968 to 1970. It was designed to be a low-cost, high-performance car that appealed to young and adventurous drivers. One of the most notable features of the Roadrunner Hemi was the Air Grabber Hood which was a power-operated trapdoor that opened to reveal a large air scoop with a shark cartoon painted on it. The driver could activate the air grabber by flipping an underdash switch, creating a menacing look and improving the engine's intake. The Hemi also made the Roadrunner into a great drag racer. It only needs 13.34 seconds to complete the quarter mile at speeds over 107 miles per hour. In 1970, only 152 units were produced, including 75 hardtops, 74 pillared coupes, and three convertibles. The Torino name replaced the Fairlane in 1971, and the Cobra was the top performance model in the lineup. The Cobra featured a sleek and aerodynamic sports roof fastback design inspired by NASCAR racing. The 429 Super Cobra Jet was an optional engine for the Cobra that offered more horsepower and torque than the standard 429 CJ or Cobra Jet. It was underrated at 375 horsepower. According to the 1971 Supercar Annual, the Torino Cobra raced through the quarter-mile stretch in a stunning 13.3 seconds, hitting a speed of 106 miles per hour. However, poor fuel economy, high insurance costs, and stricter emission regulations that reduced its appeal in the market. As a result, the Cobra nameplate was discontinued after 1971, making the 1971 Ford Torino Cobra 429 SCJ one of the last and most desirable examples of Ford's muscle car era. In third place is the Chevrolet Chevelle SS LS6. The LS6 engine option was the pinnacle of Mark IV big block performance in its day. It was powered by a 454 cubic inch V8 engine. It had a 4.25 inch bore, 4.0 inch stroke, ported heads, and lighter aluminum pistons. This LS6 is pushing 450 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. The Chevelle SS 454 was a very fast car that could accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 5.4 seconds and run the quarter mile in a mere 13.12 seconds. It was also rare as only 4,475 units were produced in 1970. The car was popular among enthusiasts and collectors who appreciated its performance, style, and history. In second place is the Challenger RT SE 426 Hemi. According to Carcraft magazine, the car only needs 13.1 seconds to pass the quarter mile at 107 miles per hour. It's a formidable muscle car that delivers impressive performance on both the road and the track. It's considered by many Mopar enthusiasts to be the Holy Grail Challengers, as it combines the best of performance and luxury in one package. It is also a car that has proven its mettle in street racing as exemplified by the legendary Black Ghost, owned by Godfrey Qualls, a motorcycle cop from Detroit. The Plymouth Cuda 446 pack is the fastest muscle car on this list. It featured a 440 cubic inch V8 engine with three two-barrel carburetors, producing 390 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. With a four-speed manual transmission, the car can go through the quarter mile in just 13 seconds at speeds above 105 miles per hour. The 446 Pack Cuda was a rare and expensive car, with only 1,784 units produced in 1970. Of these, only 29 were convertibles, making them extremely sought after by collectors today.